Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Yeah. Yet again, I, I like what uh, Nitro was trying to do there at first. No, he was trying to do the, the, the jump side B because he knows that Jigglypuff's never going to be on the ground, so there's almost no reason to throw the side B on the ground. Yet again, that's that's basically the matchup. Is this? Oh my God! There's the the jab lock set up into the. He wanted the up air rest, but you know I'm not gonna be able to find it. And eats 40, not by 40 percent, like 30 percent for that. And again, quick forward tilt off stage. You know what I. I like what uh, Speklar is doing. He's just making it super hard for Richter to get in. And, you know, that's where Richter suffers. You know, he has a lot of good disjointed moves, but they're kind of slow on the startup. So if you can just get in his face before he can throw it out, like Richter's kind of screwed. And yet again. Oh, wow, that pound lasted for so long. And I feel like Nitro wasn't expecting that either. He gets dared, and then here's the fair train. And, no, nope, he's dead. Oh, no. Oh, wow, that, that was such a good grab. Uh, to the grab from Nitro. And again, there's the Nair, and you know, that was such an amazing tech! And then using the, the, the up air to, to tether this time allowed him to, to get back on the stage. So, wow, Nitro doing super well recovering against Jigs right now. And you know, that up tail manages to sneak in, but like 117%, that is not uh, a good stock to have right now. Oh, gets the, the trump, but not going to be able to ca uh, capitalize on it. Quick up the out of shield. And you can just see Nitro just struggling to keep the puff out. You know, j puff just such good aerial mobility. And it, it just gets in over uh, and in between all uh, Richter's projectiles. And yet again, here's the edge guard. And yet again, that Nair. All it takes is one little poop, and you're dead. Yeah, you can just see Richter just struggling to set up shop because, like, Puff is like, I don't care if you throw across, I'll just jump over it. And your axe is so slow that, like, I'll just, like, drift, like, in front of it or behind it to avoid it. Or I'll just fair it. I'll just fair your axe. Like, who cares? I got two stubby feet right here that will just kick it out of the air. You know, Speklar is just doing really good right now. Oh, that was a really bad down air. Not going to get punished, but he's off stage. And yet again, a super good upbeat to get back on the stage before Speckler can hit him with an air. And finally manages to land a fair. So, no, we are at last stock right now. You know, you see, you just see Puff, you know, like getting in on the Richter. And I like that, you know, she was expecting like the high recovery there. Because you know, like, like Richter's, like if they get the low cover recovery gimped, like they're 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 done. So it's just a lot of Richters just have to just go for that uh, fair bear and just hope that it hits Jigglypuff before they get in. Quick dash attack to get Jigglypuff off of her and get again get the bear. And you know, I feel like Nitro has been just bringing this game back. It's the up but no, he waits too low and unfortunately will not be able to snap Legend time. And you see Speklar going like, oh my god, I almost lost that set. I got so lucky right there. Well, that, that, that last game, though, Nitro was bringing it back. And yet again. Now here's the counter pick. Now where do you go? Where do you go from here, my friend? I'll, I'll think the, okay, I'll think to go to uh, one of the, the, the Omega stages. And, you know, Nitro, I feel like he, he's debating whether or not to go Richter or go back to Sonic. You know, he's, he's thinking about it because, like, that was, that was really rough for Nitro, it seemed like, at the beginning. He did manage to pull out the window, but no, going for the Sonic, being like, okay, that was 
way too hard. I had to play in so much work. Not worth it. Let's go, Sonic, so I can actually, like, challenge you in the air. Here we go on FD. You know, Jigglypuff definitely has to be a lot more careful because, you know, Spin Dash will just beat out a lot of Jigglypuff's moves. But, like, it doesn't matter because, like, Jigglypuff can kind of, like, punish him for a lot of things, too. And here's the fair train. And I like that. Going for the high recovery to avoid getting back aired again off stage. And again, here's all these spin dashes. And I like these these cancels. It kind of makes Spicklar, like, guess on, like, when he's actually going to approach. You know, and you see Spicklar, like, playing a lot more passively, like, a lot more reactively, trying to uh, bait out what Nitro's going to do with Sonic. You know, you can't uh, approach carelessly, because if you do, then Sonic's just going to punish you for it. You know, you just see both both players are just kind of, like, like dodging and weaving through each other's uh, aerial space. Oh, he gets the grab and four throw. Oh, wow. That was an interesting use of Uppy right there. I feel like he was looking for maybe something else, but you know what? Jigglypuff be like, ha, 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 I've got a spinny move too. Respect it. And you saw like Nitro being like, I don't know if my spinny move can beat out your spinny move, so I'm just going to like hop over it. Again, quick spin dash and gets the roll read on the back air. Oh, quick dash attack. And here we go. No. Sonic is just able to just kind of just you know, run out of Jigglypuff's airspace and then punish her for whenever she tries to land. So no, Specklar is having a really hard time like getting in meaningful hits. Ooh. You know, normally that Nair would have covered enough space, but you know he's able to forward tilt just in time. But that Nair will be able to stage spike him. You know that that you know, Jigglypuff Town is so much better in this game because it feels like there's almost little to no end lag between when the move ends and when you can like act out of it with like another aerial. So like if you try to punish it, then like you're either gonna get hit by the side B or you're gonna get hit by the next aerial. Like there's like a few frames like in between the two moves that like can actually like punish something. And again, click there, and then you know what? Nitro's doing such a good job just staying out of Jigglypuff's range and you know, just punishing that with a forward air. Or forward smash. My bad. Ooh, there's a nice quick combo from Sonic. You know what, you, you can tell like Nitro's definitely playing this a lot more carefully. You know, and Peklar is just having to make a lot more commitments with all of his moves. You see, all, like just when you think that move is done, it's like, ha 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 ha, it is not over yet. Poop. Oh my god, but gets the, the down, uh, gets the rest punish and you know, it's not going to be able to punish uh, Jigglypuff for it because of the, the, the when you hit it, it has less endlock on it. So you like you don't die for landing that move anymore. And with that, no, it's Speklar. Speklar, like, if you can get, like, another rest, like, I'm pretty sure at this percent and with this much rage, like, Nitro will die. Oh, he was looking he was looking for the, the jab lock setup or the potential roll in. He gets the up tilt. Oh no, he's he's looking for this neutral B, and it lands. No, what is that? 